Hello everybody, Stix here at the Token Minorities, bringing you another deck on Pokemon TCGO, and today we have a deck centered around Mega Gyarados EX, uh, 240 HP water with Blast Geyser for uh, 120. You can discard the top two cards of your deck and do 20 more for each water energy attached to this Pokemon. And before I get into the deck, just a reminder that if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, please leave a like, drop a comment, and maybe subscribe. It really helps us out a lot. And on to the deck. I know that there have been a ton of decks here and there around uh, how to accelerate energy to Mega Gyarados, with a lot of them using, actually almost all of them using Palkia EX or something like that, and then also using Golduck Break for the energy moving now. I wanted to try something really cool with using Golduck Break and like an Archie's Swamper because Swampert has the ability where you can attach two energy to it per turn and then just use Golduck to move it around. But that really just kind of ended up being just too many cards to try to get to work. So I ended up giving up, crawling into bed, crying, falling asleep, waking up, having breakfast, going to class, blah, blah, blah. And I decided, you know what, screw it, we're just going to go with a pretty generic idea for Mega Gyarados. So nothing fancy here, just kind of a straight up acceleration, although I did kind of put my own twist on it. As for the Pokemon, we are running Pure Water, uh, one Articuno. That's, I mean, a little bit kind of a twist, even though other people have done it. Not a lot of people have. Just because, I mean, you have the Delta Plus. If your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by damage from this Pokemon, you take one more prize card, which is great if Mega Gyarados like weakens an opposing Pokemon and then Articuno can just come in with free treat I might add if it has water energy on it and knock it out to take an extra prize card. We are running a 3-3 of Gyarados and Mega Gyarados just because I mean they are the main attackers of the deck but you don't want to overflow yourself with them. Uh, for acceleration we are running one Lapras and two Palkia. Uh, Palkia is really what you want to start off with more often than not, so that's why there are two of them. But, I mean, Lapras works in a pinch, too, just in case you go second. That way you don't have to spend two turns uh, powering Palkia up, and you have a chance for Seafaring first turn. So, I mean, Lapras and the Lapras-Palkia combination is my own little mix into it. We have one mana feed just for the free treat with the Aqua Tube, and then we are running a 2-2 line of Remoraid and Octillery for the Abyssal Hand just to get some extra draw support because we are not running any Shaman in this deck, and Octillery is just great for getting some more cards. As for the items, we are running two Battle Compressor just to get some energy into the discard pile for Lapras and then Mega Turbo. I mean, really battle compressoring you're running two just because I mean you want to be able to use it early on but you really don't want to get much more than two or three energy into the discard pile with battle compressor just because you will be discarding uh, energy in different ways later in the game so you don't want to just overextend yourself too early I generally just put in two two water energy and then like a uh, supporter or something like that for dive ball to get everything out we're running pure water Pokemon so this will be able to get out any Pokemon that we want 3 Max Elixir to power up Gyarados or Palkia or whatever we want. 2 Mega Turbo, just to, again, to get the energy from the discard pile. By the time you're using Mega Turbo, hopefully you will have more energy in the discard pile. And also Battle Compressor, in a pinch, can work with that too. Uh, one Super Rod just to get some stuff back, I mean, because we are running Battle Compressor, you can find that you will occasionally overextend yourself. Super Rod is just great to get those back. Two Ultra Ball, I mean, if we could run six Dive Ball, I would, but Ultra Ball is a pretty solid second option. Four VS Seeker to reuse everything. Only one Lysander, I mean, you don't necessarily need it, but it is a great tech card to have. Three, three of Birch and Sycamore for draw support. Uh, in the future, I will be leaning towards more Sycamore just because I don't like relying on Birch necessarily because of the coin flip. However, this deck does not mind it much at all due to Octillery and Abyssal Hand. Then we are running one fan service just for like a Gyarados Spirit Link or a Rough Seas or something like that. I mean, it's just nice to have in case. For these stadiums, you're running three of Rough Seas. I mean, there's really no other stadium that you would necessarily want to run. Uh, we are running only one Fighting Fury Belt. That's really just to give Palkia a little more longevity to power up more stuff on our bench. Three Gyarados Spirit Links, because we have three Gyarados, and 12 Water Energy. That is a lot. But, I mean, you have things like Battle Compressor to thin out those a little bit. And then you also want to run a bunch of energy for Max Elixir to have the best chance of working. But, yeah, that is the deck, and let's just go ahead and see it in action. 
Alrighty, we have found one against a Brains Brains with a Fire and Normal deck, so uh, we will have the advantage, luckily for us, with types. We do get the coin flip. Do we get heads? No, we do not. Oh, man. I think I've lost every coin flip today. That is a bit unfortunate, but oh well. Hey, my opponent's actually going to let us go first. Maybe this is Speed Entei. That would be my guess. Uh, we are going to start off with something that is less than uh, less than we want, but you know what, I think we can kind of work with it. Uh, this is, kind of looks like, kind of looks, actually it looks a lot like Speed Entei. I think this is, I think that is exactly what it is, actually. So uh, we will have to, I don't know, we're going to have to push through a little bit to see if this can go well. Okay, so we get an Octillery, we get a Gyarados Spirit Link, so what I am going to do this turn is go ahead and play a Gyarados down, put this right here, and unfortunately we don't get a single energy, so that stinks. Uh, let's go ahead and put the Fighting Fury Belt on the Articuno, and I think I'm going to end my turn right there. Hopefully my opponent doesn't get like a startling Megaphone combination with a uh, Heat Tackle with like a Muscle Band and something else. I mean, Okay, so we do see the Scorched Earth, uh, he is, I mean, yeah, I don't know what my opponent is necessarily going to do, I mean, this deck, I really like it, it is one of my favorites, it's actually probably my favorite just to use because it's so fast, I mean, it's basically the equivalent of Hyper Offense on, uh, Pokemon Showdown, so, I mean, that's why I like it, uh, my opponent does have to go for a Sycamore, so we do dodge a bullet there, and we will not see a turn one Heat Tackle, so... Oh, uh, we do see the Muscle Band, so that is a little unfortunate right there. However, my opponent will have to hit another Muscle Band or a Fighting Fury Belt in order to be, be able to knock out my Articuno next turn. And I will be able to get out an Octillery and a Mega Gyarados, so we will hopefully be in a decent position. I'm a bit bummed that I missed the energy drop of that first turn, but I mean, I, I don't think it's anything we can't get past uh, my opponent. Hmm. Actually, it all depends on like how lucky I can get with Chilling Psy. If I can actually manage to stall for a turn or two, then I will be in a great position, especially because I can go ahead and get rid of that Scorched Earth, play down the Gyarados, evolve into Mega Gyarados, play down an Octillery, get some more cards with Abyssal Hand, hopefully something else we can work with. Uh, that's... Eh, it's it's all right, I guess. Um, what I can do is battle compressor away this, uh, and then probably this, and then grab a sycamore. Yes, that way I can make sure to get more cards. Let's go ahead and play this onto the. Hmm. Do I want to do that? Actually, I might could play this onto the Articuno, and then go ahead and Professor Sycamore to get seven new cards to hopefully have something else we can work with. We do get a Max Elixir, that is great. I might go ahead and grab a Gyarados and a Mega Gyarados, a uh, Gyarados and a Palkia, most likely. Um, actually, you know what? I will grab a Lapras. Where is my Lapras? There it is. Uh, we will have to rely on coin flips, so that's not necessarily something you like to do, but you work with what you have. Let's go for a Max Elixir get one. Let's put it on the um, Gyarados. And then I think I'm just going to Chilling Psy this turn, put him to sleep. Oh, my opponent immediately wakes up. Oh man, that's not, that's not good. Um, so Chilling Psy didn't work out as a stall tactic, but I think I am in a somewhat okay position right now, just because I can, if I survive the turn, I can go ahead and retreat with Articuno into Lapras to do a Seafaring, which will hopefully be able to power up Mega Gyarados. Uh, the bright side of this is I, when I use Blast Geyser, I won't have to discard cards from my deck in order to be able to attack with it. So I'm just hoping my opponent doesn't get something too ridiculous. I mean, okay, so we do see a Camera up. That's I usually see Charizard, but I mean, Camera Up works just as well, too. Uh, we're going to see the Blacksmith for the Heat Crash onto the Entei. Hopefully, he doesn't have a Muscle Band or a Fighting Fury Belt, so he can 
only hit for 180 this turn. So, okay, that's great. Uh, we, he even damages himself a little bit, which is phenomenal. Uh, what I am going to go ahead and do, play this onto the Lapras. Go ahead and Birch's Observations. It doesn't matter if we get Tails, but we get Heads, so that works too. Uh, let's go ahead and Max Elixir. Get one more onto this Gyarados. Um, how many energy do I have in the discard pile? I have two, so I'm going to go ahead and Rough Seas. Heal some damage off of the Articuno. And while this may seem in may seem not the best, I'm going to I'm going to go for a Seafaring. Just because, okay, there we go. All right, and that is why I didn't want to Mega Turbo onto the Mega Gyarados just yet, because uh, I, if I Mega Turboed both of those, then Seafaring wouldn't be able to do anything. And while my opponent will be able to get a knockout this turn, we will be able to respond immediately with a Mega Gyarados because I do have a Water Energy in hand. And if he knocks out Lapras, I will be able to just KO that thing right back with Mega Gyarados. So. We're in a pretty solid position, even if my opponent gets a, another blacksmith next turn, he won't be able to knock me out unless he gets like a blacksmith and a like just a ton of stuff. Like, I mean, if he gets an absolute crap load, then we will be in trouble, but is one of my Gyarados spirit links? Yes, it is, so that Gyarados is pretty much useless. Uh, let's heal some damage off of Articuno. Go ahead and play one here, go for a Mega Turbo get one there. Uh, Gyarados won't be of much use this match, so, well, that Gyarados anyway. Uh, let's go for a Sycamore, and we get a Palkia, and can get another Mega Gyarados going. Um, I kind of want to just do this to get the Lysander in my discard pile, unless I don't have it. That is just fine. Uh, Let's see, I don't I don't think I want to discard anything in particular, but you know what, I'll just get rid of one energy, because I don't necessarily need it. And yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and knock this out with a Blast Geyser. No, I would not like to do a hundred more. Um, I think... I think we're in an okay position. We get another Octillery, that is okay. My opponent will have to... Hmm... My opponent will have to get a Blacksmith and an Attachment to knock me out, which, I mean, is very, very possible. So we do see the Blacksmith, although he will lose all of his energy, and I have a couple energy in the back. Uh, so, okay, we do see a DCE onto the Shaman. So he is just going to hit me for 200 damage this turn, which is not the worst thing in the world. I do have some stuff in the back for healing and damage and all of that stuff, so let's just go ahead and use that. Let's put an energy onto this Gyarados. Let's Skyless see what we have in there. Uh, let's grab a Super Rod, why not? So that way we don't deck out. Let's just Super Rod back in. Energy, energy, and eh, Lapras, why not? Feel like it. And then get a gigantic, hmm. Eh, let's Abyssal Hand. Grab one more card. Okay, it is another Water Energy. That is okay, so let's just go ahead and Blast Geyser. No thank you. I just want to do a ton of damage onto the camera up to take two more prizes. Hopefully one of them will be Lysander. No, it's not. I mean, it's just another VS Seeker, which could have been a Lysander if I battle compressed it away. But I don't think there's a way my opponent can knock me out this turn. And I can actually just retreat into this Gyarados on the bench. Uh, hmm. Okay, so my opponent does just be a Seeker for a Sycamore, and I will have Free Treat because of Mana Fee. I can just go into this Mega Gyarados on the bench and attack with that. So I think we are in an okay position. We do see him use the Scorched Earth. So, I mean, that's... Unfortunate there, but <clears throat> I'm wondering if he's trying to set up for like a, uh, I mean, I wonder if he's going to go for a sky return this turn. I mean, that'd be, I think it'd be kind of foolish, but okay, he's just going to go for it, get some damage off on the Mega Gyarados, but that is not the biggest deal in the world. Uh, is one of my rough seas prized? It must be, so I'm going to attach to this Gyarados, and then let's go ahead and retreat. 
Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and Skyla see if one of my rough seas was in the deck and I just didn't see it. Skyla... Yes, it is. I'm going to grab that. Let's put that there and then heal the Gyarados and the Articuno on the bench. And then go for a Blast Geyser. And no, thank you. Just kill the Entei. Just, just damage him. Damage him a whole lot. Alright, we get the Sycamore, so the Lysander is one of our last two prizes. I mean, there's really nothing you can do. And my opponent just concedes. Uh, he could not take out the gigantic damage that was Mega Gyarados. Uh, we did 720, and Mega Gyarados did all of that damage. Actually, did it do? Yes, it did the entirety of that damage. I think we used it six times. Yeah, we used Blast Geyser. Wait, did we? No, couldn't have been six. No, that is... We used it three times because we had super effective damage. But yeah, that is the deck, and let's just go ahead and try to find one more. Alrighty, we have found one against uh five wow, just all of the all of the uh all of the types. Uh we do get a call the coin flip. We do win the coin flip, yay! So we get to go first. Uh hopefully we can get a Palkia to start with. Um hmm. We do get an Articuno and a Gyarados. That's not It's not exactly what we want, but I think I think I'm gonna lead Articuno just so I can try to power up Gyarados on the bench, especially if I grab a uh I grab a whatchamacallit. Okay, so this is a uh, Trubbish. This is like a Garbodor deck, I guess. So let's attach an energy to the Gyarados, play this here, go ahead and dive ball for a Palkia. Uh, let's play that down, go ahead and dive ball for, I think, I think I want to get a Manaphy out. Uh, there it is, but I don't think I want to do it now. Actually, you know what, I might as well. Put the Manaphy down there, play that to there, go ahead and Birch's Observations, hopefully get Heads, yes we do, and we get something that we can actually really work with. Uh, let's go ahead and Ultra Ball away this, and I think probably another Gyarados to grab a Remoraid. Put that right there, let's go ahead and Max, yes, Max Elixir. Put it onto the Palkia, and then I think I will call it a turn right there. That way I will hopefully be able to do something where I can retreat and go for a uh, Aqua Tube to start powering up Gyarados in the background. Might not have been the best idea to discard Gyarados, but I have another in the deck. And usually one is all you need just because it's so bulky and Rough Seas increases its longevity. I mean, just ridiculous amounts. Uh, I do want to try to get things out before the Garbodor gets going. So this looks like an... What, is this like a Garbodor Evolution deck? That is so funny. Oh, sweet, we do see an escape rope. So I'm just going to go right into the Palkia, hopefully get an energy. And actually, if I get my Fighting Fury belt, I can knock out the Eevee next turn. I mean, odds are I won't be able to because he'll probably attach an energy to it and then just energy evolution. But it doesn't look like he has it yet just because he has to go for the Birch's Observations, hopefully gets Tails. Eh, that's Heads. I mean, that's not the biggest deal in the world. But, okay, we do see it's like a, hmm, it's a Vespaquin deck too. Oh, so it's a Vespaquin Evolution deck. Got it. Okay. So this is a little bit bad just because uh, we have grass, we have grass weakness, and we have electric weakness. So both of those things are Vespaquin and Eevee cover. However, I'm hoping we will be able to overwhelm our opponent. If he gets like a Jolteon out or something, that's something we just have to take out at the take out at the source. So let's go ahead and play an Octillery down. Um, Articuno might be phenomenal this match, actually. Let's go ahead and Professor Birch's Observations. Mm, do I want a Abyssal Hand now? I think... You know what? I'm just going to go for the Observations. Hopefully get Heads. So, okay. So, I mean, I didn't exactly get to use it, but that is okay. Let's go ahead and play this down on the Gyarados. Play this onto the Palkia. Go ahead and... Dive ball for probably another Gyarados. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. 
And then I think... I think I'm going to go ahead and Abyssal Hand. And then attach, go for an Aqua, tu Aqua Turbo. Sorry, not Aqua Tube. Oh no, that's, that's Manaphy's ability. Uh, I'm going to go for two of these. Attach it to the Articuno. Just because Articuno I think will be phenomenal in this matchup. Just because it will be able to take two prizes for every like one that my opponent does. So uh, that's something we can work with right there. Uh, he does evolve into the Jolteon who will have free treat. And if he has enough Pokemon in the discard pile. One, two, three, four. Um... Okay, so he will be able to do some damage this turn. Just goes for a B Revenge, hits for 120. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but what I can do is go ahead and Rough Seas, get some damage off of that. Go ahead and Max Elixir. Don't get anything. That's not that's not horrible. Uh, go ahead and attach, I think, one energy to the Articuno. And then go for, I think I want to, I, I, I want to get damage off on this thing, no doubt. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and Abyssal Hand this turn just because I want to keep the Lysander. Uh, I get a Mega Gyarados too, but what I'm just going to do is go ahead and Aqua, hmm. So I need, okay, so go, go ahead and Aqua Turbo. Get two energy onto the... Gyarados and then that way I can go ahead and he will be able to take two prizes next turn but I will be able to take wait hold on oh that's right because of uh, electric effect okay so that puts a little wrench in my plan but it's not too bad he does go for the B revenge that does knock out Palkia which is a bit unfortunate but I will be able to immediately knock it out with Gyarados um, we get a Fighting Fury Bell. I'm going to go ahead and attach that to the Articuno. Uh, let's go for a Sycamore. I Hopefully I can get a VS Seeker or something. Yes, I do get a VS Seeker, but I do not get any uh, water energy, which is a little bit weird. Let's go ahead and play this. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and play a Dive Ball for another Palkia. Let's play that there. Let's go ahead and Battle Compressor. I need to draw an Energy or a Mega Turbo. That works too. So let's go ahead and get rid of a Birch's Observation. Get rid of another Birch's Observation. And I think an Ultra Ball because I don't need to draw anything more. Um, and then let's go ahead and Abyssal Hand. Hopefully get an Energy or a Mega Turbo. That works too. Let's put this one onto this Gyarados. And then VS Seeker onto, or the Mega Turbo onto this one. And then go for a Blast Geyser. And no, I would not like to. Let's just go ahead and get rid of that. And then I do have a VS Seeker to get rid of any Combi that he brings into play. I actually might just... If he plays one down, I think... Oh, so he's just going to go for this play of the setup with Shame... Or the Sky Return. But I will be able to heal that off. And depending on what he brings in... I actually think I'm going to be kind of cheeky this turn and then go ahead and play this onto the Gyarados. Let's go ahead and retreat. And then go for a Tri-Edge. Even if I get one heads, I will knock the Eevee out. So that is perfect. And we will be able to take two prizes off of that one Pokemon, which is great. Even get a, another Water Energy, so that is phenomenal. Uh, the Jolteon comes in. And this is where the Manaphy really earns its stripes, just because it is able to just uh, really get free treat on almost everything. Uh, what I am probably going to do next turn is VS Seeker, or Lysander in the Shaman to take two more prizes. I have another Mega Gyarados powered up on the bench, which will be able to, uh, like even if I do get B Revenged, that is just fine. Or if he goes for a Combi, I am going to definitely Lysander that thing in and KO that with a uh, with a Tri-Edge, even though, I don't know, I think, hmm, I kind of just want to go for the guaranteed win at this point. Okay, so, alright. So he does have a Garbodor, my abilities are not shut off yet. So I think what I'm going to do is attach here 
Go for a battle compressor, see how much energy is left. Okay, so let's get rid of the Sycamore, because I do have two energy left in the deck. Let's go ahead and VS Seeker. VS Seeker for a Lysander. Let's go ahead and Lysander in the Shaman. And then retreat into this Gyarados. And I know I definitely could go for uh, the knockout on the Combi, but I mean, at this point, I just want to maximize my uh, likelihood of getting certain of like of winning really so let's go ahead and get back a I didn't I actually did not have any energy in there at all so this is let's go ahead and just do that that and that uh, you know what let's do a Lapras so that is just fine and then we will knock out the shaman with a blast geyser do I want to discard no I don't I don't need to so as long as we can get another energy uh, somehow, we will be just fine. Which I think we will almost guaranteed be able to do with a Professor Sycamore. So I think we're okay. So like Sycamore combined with Octillery, I think should be able to win me the game next turn. Yeah, because I know I have a couple water energy in the deck. And then I will just be able to Sycamore away, draw out my entire deck, attach Water Energy to this Mega Gyarados, and KO the Vespaquin. I mean, the Vespaquin will be able to knock out this Mega Gyarados, but I mean, that's not that big of a deal. So we are, we're okay. Garbodo does shut down abilities, but, oh, so he doesn't even, oh yeah, his Garbodor shut down his own Jolteon. So, I mean, we just win right here. Uh, you know what? Oh, my opponent just forfeits. So, uh... We don't get to get the last damage off on the Vespaquin, but you know what, that is okay, we still won. Uh, Mega Gyarados just proved too bulky to take out. Unfortunately, my opponent uh, used Garbodor's ability to shut down his own attack, so pretty unfortunate for him, not that big of a deal. I mean, we still had the game won either way, but yeah, that is the deck, guys. I'm sorry it wasn't super original, but I tried it. I tried to be really original, it just didn't really work out, ultimately, so... Sorry about that, but I hope you enjoyed the deck. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And this is Sticks signing out. Why not? See you guys.